Hey, thanks for watching. Today I'm doing my Dollar Tree DIY outdoor chandelier. And you will need these things here, which are plant hangers and their hardware from the Dollar Tree. They come together. You'll need zip ties and needle nose pliers or something to bend wire with. And um, that should help you connect everything and binder clips. I found using binder clips to hold everything together while trying to figure out where I was going to place the zip ties was really helpful. It's kind of a struggle, as you can see, to kind of get them situated. And I think in retrospect, I probably would have used maybe instead of four of the hangers, maybe five or six to make a bigger unit. And you'll see that at the end. So you'll see here where these little hooks on each side, four sides of the half circle, uh, I connected them there. And that seemed like a good place to line things up and it made it a little more cohesive. So here are the trusty binder clips, and they really do help when you are working with something that's wiggling about for a little more stability. And I also decided to use another all the way around of the zip ties to make it a tighter fit, and it didn't wiggle as much when I did that. And I did it just kind of underneath where I had already done the zip tie. So here are the leftover hang hangers, hanging pieces, chains, and whatnot. It comes with three attached to each unit, and I really actually needed four so that my chandelier will hang properly and balanced. And so I just added another piece to that. So here's what it looks like once all the chains are attached. I put it on a hook just to see how it would hang. And what I did is I added chain crisscross in the center here. The hooks are provided, the, I don't know what they're called, those little hooks right here, but they come with it. 16 links across on each side and then the center gives you a space to hang your lighting. And here are a lot of your leftover pieces. I tried some wire at first with this, but the zip ties worked better. So here, what I'm doing is I am going to take some of the leftover links, fold them in half, hook them to that little clippy hook thing there, 
and do that three times because I needed to have my chandelier pretty long for my outdoor hanging from a tree, which you'll see at the end. And what I did is I linked the end links to, to a hook. So you see here, there's just one there, I think, but I went ahead and did two actually all the way through. That way, it's not just one link that's gonna come apart on you and it will have a, a lasting ability, which is what you want for your DIY projects. And here is what it looks like with all the added chain. I think it's a good length. So moving on to the lighting aspect. These are 99 cent store string lights and they are I think under three or four dollars. And I'm just trying to find a way to clump them together, see how I might want to position them in the light for how they're going to hang properly. The battery packed, I will tell you, it, it it's kind of hard to hide that. So if you have any ideas about how that might be, I'd love to hear them. Um, some of it, I know, is just trying to figure it out. And so I do show an idea on how this one would look, and then I move on to another look that I actually went with in the end. You could also conceivably make this into a real outdoor lighting chandelier with the proper mechanics for a lamp and outdoor pieces that can be weathered. It's really up to you. And here is the final chandelier. I wrapped a couple of different Dollar Tree fairy lights around it. And I think it looks really beautiful above my table out there in this little area that I refer to as our outdoor room. It's really beautiful right here. I spent a lot of time on it. And I think I probably would find a way to hide the battery packs a little bit better if I can, maybe buy more lights, or I'm not really sure. If you have any ideas, I'd love for you to comment. And if you like what you're seeing in my videos and my DIYs, then please definitely subscribe or leave a comment or like, and give me some ideas of what you might wanna see going forward. This is the last shot of this, and I really, really like how it looks out there. It looks beautiful. Thanks for watching.